Okay, third time. Let's get it. I'm gonna make this video super short, super sweet. I'm gonna be giving you the top three things that you should not be doing, or you should be doing. Top three things that will kill your Twitch channel and how to avoid it. Uh, if you guys liked the video, make sure to share it with your friends. If you guys have any questions, I stream Tuesday, I stream Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. CT, and I'm also on Discord, Twitter, all that good stuff. Comment down below. I'm always open to answering guys' questions. All right, let's jump into it. Number one, diversifying content. You've probably heard this a million times. I'm gonna drill into your head one more time. Don't just stream. Create original content for YouTube, create original content for Twitter, create original content for TikTok, whatever it is, you should have at least four platforms that you're streaming on, minus the Discord. All right, you should still be in your Discord, interacting with your fans there. But if on YouTube, don't just put your stream highlights on YouTube if that's what you do. You know, also add original gaming content or whatever kind of content that you make on stream, add it there, or make completely different content, maybe like how I do, which I have informational tutorials, but put it on YouTube, make sure it's for YouTube. Twitter, same thing. Don't just tweet your clips or your um, going live notifications. Also create original content on Twitter as well and interact with people there. Simple, diversify content, create original content on other platforms because Twitch will not let you get discovered because there's too many streamers on Twitch at the moment. So TDLR, post content other places because you're not gonna get discovered on Twitch, you're gonna get discovered somewhere else and then that is gonna help grow your Twitch. Number two, simple, keep a schedule. Look at your life, analyze your life. How many hours a day do I actually have free to stream and then make original content on other platforms? Get those amount of hours, you know, move it around to where you feel comfortable to stream and make content without burning yourself out too much, okay? When you're first starting out and you have a full-time job and a life, you're gonna burn yourself out a little. Be prepared for that, but make sure you, have a, you set a schedule that you can actually follow. All right, number three, don't expect to get paid. I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna make a lot of money at first. Don't even don't even consider making money at first. Get your tip, your donation page out there so that if someone wants to support you, they can. But don't worry about that. Worry about following your schedule. Worry about creating original content. Worry about your your brand. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot the word there. Worry about growing your community, and eventually, trust me, the money will start coming in. Once you have a set community and a brand and they're all mixing well together and you really have a platform to speak on, sponsors will start coming to you, uh, collaborations will start coming to you and you'll start making money and be smart about it. Okay, I'll make more videos about sponsor deals and brand deals uh, in the down the line in the future. But I mean, Harris Heller is a great YouTuber here on Twitch and YouTube and he's got a bunch of good videos on that. So I suggest you go check him out for that if you're already at that point. But TDLR for the whole video, create some original content, make a schedule, and just work on the content. You do those things, you'll be fine. The money eventually will come through, and you guys can do it. Again, if you guys have any questions, hit me up on Twitch, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on Discord, or the comments down below. My name is Wolfgang. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.